welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a flip through of my july setup in my carpe diem travelers notebook i'm so excited i did go ahead and i did do the setup off of camera just because i really wanted to have fun with this theme and sometimes when i film i feel like i have to rush um, because of video timing and all of that stuff and i just kind of wanted to take the time to do this theme for me because i'm absolutely obsessed with it and i want to show you guys how it came out it's so so pretty and i love it so you guys know that i've been on a tropical theme um mode and that's just kind of what i decided to go with i thought it was perfect for this tn and like the colors that are in this tn worked out perfectly with the cover that i have so let me show you guys this is my carpe diem traveler's notebook it is a standard size it's so pretty i love it and you guys know heather sent this to me as a gift um, it has the mint elastic, it has a pink bow, so this bow was on my uh, blue traveler's notebook and I transferred it to this one because I thought it still went perfectly. And then I love how the side looks, I used that trim from Hobby Lobby but I'll show you a closer detail. And then these little cuties, um, Pam had sent me these little foams in, sticker foams in some Happy Mail and I just decided to turn them into paper clips and I thought they were so cute and they go perfect with my theme. So let's go ahead and dive right into this right here. So once you open my planner, this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have the whole tropical theme going on. Um, so for the pockets, I decided not to add die cuts or um, paper clips or anything like that because I wanted the paper to stand out. I love the designs of the paper. So I decided to just leave it like that. And I did use one of the new paper pads that my friend Michelle sent me, also a subscriber of mine. And so I thought, okay, let me use this. And so that's what I have. Also, you guys, she has a new YouTube channel. Um, and she just uploaded a couple of new videos. So you guys should definitely check her out. I'll leave her um, information in the comments down below so that you guys can go and support her and let her know that I sent you. Um, but yeah, so over here in the first pocket, I just decided to go with the striped paper and then with this blue one I decided to use that cute little bird and then with the pink one I did the uh, pineapple and then again I love the bird so much so I decided to use him again I did round the corners and so uh, yeah so I just think that by rounding the corners it just makes it look so much prettier and then in the um, pocket I just put a watermelon paper I thought it was so fun and so cute because this one has fruit so I thought why not do a watermelon theme so for my first cover for all of my covers because the michaels paper pads are not double sided i decided to go ahead and double side them myself i thought it was going to be a little bit harder but it was it turned out to be pretty easy um so that's what i decided to do so for the first paper i used this like fruit paper it has like pineapples watermelon kiwi papaya and it just looks so fun um, I decided to use the, the big pineapple die cut as my centerpiece and then I added a cute little um, embellishment flower in the middle and then on the top I added the work that crown and this puffy sticker is from the Dollar Tree it comes with those pineapple stickers and then I added I don't know if you can really tell but to the flowers I added some little enamel dots that I thought would be cute this one has a green one and then this one has a pink one so and then I haven't used this trim in a while because I've been I like to save this trim for like um, really special setups and I thought this was a really special one so I decided to add this trim and this trim is from Hobby Lobby this is the mint color and I love it so the back of the paper is the flamingo paper and I thought it would be really really cute so I just paired it with that one and then I did put a tab right here and it says monthly 
on this one. So I put the tab in the back because the trim is in the front. Um, so yeah, so I have the monthly tab there and then in the back of this one I just added again that sticky note that Diane sent me. I loved it and I put her little flower on her head right there because she is just so fabulous. And then again I added some more of those little enamel dots just to give it like a cuter little like touch. There's another one right there and I thought it was perfect. So then on this side, this is my favorite page, also my daughter's favorite page. Um, this one is a flamingo paper. It has the pink tab that says weekly, and then it has the flamingo 3D pop-up. And I decided to use the blue doily because I just thought it looked so pretty, like the colors, the pink and the blue. And so I did the blue doily, the pink doily, and then the flamingo in the center. And it is a 3D. And I did add an extra 3D foam because I really wanted it to stand out. So that's what it looks like. And that's my tab. And the tabs are from the Planner Society. I just went through, like, some of my older tabs. And I just kind of, like, tried to match the papers up. And then the back of this paper is the coconut. This is one of my favorite papers. This is actually from a different paper pad. And uh, I love this one. These coconuts are way too cute. And then this is my clear pocket. You guys remember I had a clear pocket. And then I added this paper and then the striped paper to it. And that's my um, book. This is my weekly. And then the same thing. Here's my little um, paper clips. And then... Here is the paper again, here's my pockets, and here's the coconuts, and then here is the back of that one. So again, more flamingos, and this is actually a uh, flamingo sticker that Pam had sent me, those cute little die cuts, and then I put the little green leaf right there. I thought she would be cute to put as a centerpiece. I decided to go ahead and add some washi and I thought the washi brought out perfectly the green leaf. Um, I felt like it was missing something and when I added this I was like oh my god it's the perfect touch and then I added again some more of those enamel dots just to give it a little more pop of color. Then over here we have my little DIY clear insert that I made and then the back is just that pink pineapple paper. And then I love this one so much. I think this one is so pretty. I just, I love the sea turtle papers. And then here is the little tab that I use and it says budget. And then I go, decided to go do the um, um, like bluish doily with the lime green and then a flower die cut in the middle. And then I decided to put these two little flamingos. As you can see, the flamingos kind of like my theme. And then a little pop-up um, 3D flower right there. But I love the little sea turtle paper. I think it's so cute. Michelle, oh my god, thank you so much for giving it to me. And this paper was gorgeous. So this is what I decided to um, pair it with. So again, I did make all of these double-sided because they are not double-sided. And I thought this one was oh, just so pretty, so fun, so tropical. So then that's what I added in the back. And then for this one, because I wanted the sea turtles to show a little bit more, I just added this vacation die cut that Pam had sent me with some little blue enamel dots. And then this really, really pretty toucan. I think that's what it's called, a toucan. If not, it's like a parrot or something. But there you have it. That's what it looks like. And then on this page, I didn't know what to do. I felt kind of I was starting to get a little bit tired. And um, so I decided to go ahead and use this tropical um, theme writing word paper. It just has like a lot of writing on it. And then I put you are the pineapple of my eye. And then again, I put that little pineapple from the Dollar Tree. I put two watermelons there. I don't know, just because I felt like it. And then I did put two little flamingos right here along with a little leaf. And I think it still looks really cute. I actually like it. I like its funness of both the pineapple and the flamingos with the watermelon. And that's my tab and it says my list. And then the back I decided to use the watermelon paper. Same thing here. And then on this side, I just did a one little lime doily with the pink pineapple. And then to bring her out, I decided to use the pink Hobby Lobby trim. And I think it just came out so perfect. 
I don't know where my pen went. I think I was using it earlier. But um, this little um, memo pad is from the Dollar Tree. I had bought it um, a while ago, a couple, maybe last month I think it was. And so I just put it here so that I can just jot down things. I did start to use it. I wrote down the last minute stuff that we needed to buy for Ecuador. And it's currently in my purse. But um, yeah, that's what I have here. And then it has a cute little pen loop. But other than that, that's pretty much what my setup looks like. I absolutely love it. It took me a while to get this done because, like I said, I just wanted to kind of just take my time with it and just have fun with it and just really, really create. And I think that's exactly what I was able to accomplish. So it's perfect in my eyes, and I think it came out exactly like I would have wanted to um, get it done. So I wonder, you know, sometimes I think like if I would have filmed it, I think the outcome might have been a little bit different because, you know, ideas are changing constantly. So then a little story time. <laughs> As, as I finished planning, as I finished crafting, I had just finished like putting this together. It was good to go, ready to go. And then I think I started working on the paper clips. Right after I finished working on the paper clips, my glue gun set on fire. I was like so freaked out. So I had the glue gun right next to me and all of a sudden it just went pssst. And then it popped, it just had like this big, big, huge pop. And then you could see the flame go up in the air and then it came back down. And then that was the end of it, just started smoking. I'm like, oh my God. So I went to go tell my dad, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, my glue gun set on fire. But as you guys can see, I no longer have my white glue gun. I don't know what happened to it. It just blew up by itself. Um, luckily, I do have a backup, but when I get back then, from Ecuador then I might just consider um, purchasing another one since that is a backup only but that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of my July theme setup let me know what you guys are doing for your July theme I know um, Pam has an Instagram page now and she's super creative and she makes all this beautiful jewelry so if you guys want to go check her out definitely go check her out. I'll leave her Instagram name right here and you guys should go check her out. But she also ended up doing a tropical theme in her traveler's notebook for the month of July and it looks really, really cute as well. So I'm excited to share this with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.